The case against city officials for their involvement in the water disaster of Flint, Michigan. Well, it's moving forward, and here's One America's Alicia Britton. A community long forgotten. That's how residents describe their home of Flint, Michigan. The city has been grappling with a severe public health crisis for the past several years after the city changed its water source from a Detroit water treatment center to the Flint River in 2014. But as officials soon realized, missteps in the crossover process allowed aging pipes to taint water supplies with extremely elevated levels of lead and other dangerous bacteria. Now, five years later, residents say the battle for justice isn't over. On Wednesday, the Michigan Supreme Court ruled a class action lawsuit against the city can move forward, allowing victims whose health and homes were damaged by the lead-contaminated water to seek compensation. That suit claims the man-made disaster diminished property values and violated their rights to bodily integrity by only giving access to corrosive water. The incident led to an outbreak of Legionnaire's disease, a pneumonia-like illness caused by inhaling mist from bacteria-ridden water. That outbreak reportedly killed at least 112 people, though experts believe there were many more which weren't reported due to misdiagnosis. Additionally, the water was found to have a buildup of TTHM, a byproduct of chlorine which is known to cause cancer. Despite the visibly brown and grungy water, then-Governor Rick Snyder and other local officials kept assuring residents the water was safe to drink. They are no longer able to run or hide. They have run out of time and they have run out of places to go. So they now must either give us our day in court or come to the table with a fair and reasonable settlement offer. Now, the city is still working to replace these old pipes through its service line replacement project. Officials say that is about 90% complete. It is not clear when the case will be presented before a judge. Alicia Britton, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.